Hello everybody, and welcome to episode 105 of the Hardcore Vanilla series. And this episode marks a major turn in the series because, as you can see up here, the Blood Moon frequency is going down, not disabled, <laughs> forgot you could turn that off, it's going down to once a day, every single day. With 64 zombies, until we die, it should be quite the charade. You know, I was about to apologize in case I ended up doing some mindless rambling because I'm vaguely nervous about a horde night every night and because I built a bunch of horde bases in forward planning and I just hope that I actually get to use them before I die. But then again, I realized, wait, that's kind of all I do anyway. Just randomly ramble. So I guess I won't apologize for that. And now we're in the world. <laughs> I have yet to have actually looked up at this from the bottom. <laughs> that is tall as hell. Now imagine if it was during the nighttime if I lined the sides of this with torches. Oh, that could look amazing. I think I'm actually not entirely done with this. We have more to do. Yeah, we have to place ladders on the sides here so they can't push me off the side either. Or bars don't need ladders. So we'll do that for now. It's interesting. During these upcoming days, am I moving to the side? Oh, jeez, do not tap forward. But it's going to be interesting moving forward because any instances of time-lapsed mining are going to happen at the beginning of the day now instead of the end. Since the end of the day is, well, kind of a horde night, so it's not like I can just spend the horde night mining. That's some true madman activity. I'd have to have one hell of a horde base behind me, just blocking the entrance to my mine or my cave or whatever, which... I don't think that would work either, because as we've seen with the Screamers, man, they will aggressively dig if they don't see a clear path to you. Even if there is an actual clear path to you, they'll still dig sometimes, just because they feel like it. The AI is not exactly impressive in that uh, particular regard. Oh man, I'm uncomfortable. Do I have my own shit straps? Yes, I do. All right. Just keep it going. Keep on going. Luckily, we have more than enough of a resource stockpile that the first couple horde nights, after I use this wonderful ladder to the heavens, let's see how that operates with the zombies pushing me up like they're clearing a drain, we have plenty of resources to repair her royal girthiness once this part is done. If this proves effective enough and doesn't take too much damage, I might just build a second one. Essentially, like I have those two. Oh, I can actually see them. <laughs> Damn them high up. And there's still a lot more to go, but it'd be something like these two ladders but imagine them just going to the skybox <laughs> even better if i can connect them oh i could make a sky horde base where i'm just oh no that sounds fun then i would have to line the outside of the ladder like this with traps but then i would have to hmm let's say something like electric traps but they go off based on motion sensors so when it detects zombies in particular it would set them off so that i wouldn't be hit they would have to push me past the wires first hmm i have no idea it would have to be the zombies not directly below me but the ones before them Hmm, I'm not sure. I'm sure there's some kind of big brain method that could be used, and I'm sure that I'm not going to be the one to think of it. I'm more of a brutish tactics kind of guy, as you can tell from the excess resources of everything that I do. Damn, <laughs> I forgot how high up this really was. Am I seriously not at the top yet? Okay, oof, started bumping into that bar right there. That may be uncomfortable. Okay, let's place the rest of these. One more, like this. Yeah, all right. Now we take the, take the short way down. Just get on the ladder. All right, I'm already uncomfortable. And here we go. This is not at all a long fall. Oh man, my stomach. Nailed it. I love that it actually works. All right, back up we go. Wait, do we have more? We need more concrete. We're running low. Let's take a little ride home. Don't hit the fence. Oh, I hit it. Suppose that makes sense. My driving skills have yet to improve after over a hundred episodes. Somehow there's no screamers. Also, what is up with my frame rate? It's happening. Perhaps it's a first time load of the area that's causing it. Ah, Jimmy, you're gonna die. Whoa, pipe bombs. Okay, we have those now. And more. Okay, so I guess that means that if these overfill or overcraft or whatever, that they will continue to craft. I just have to have empty inventory slots when I interact with them. Oh, I'm, um... I'm a bit full. Right. Well, let's just set up another chest for pipe bombs. I think they're going to be the magnum opus for a very long time. Huh, it's a nice little empty spot right there. Let's clear out this little bit of wood that we have going across our ceiling here. Place another box there. All right. 
Now we have a second explosion chest, Splode 2, the Splodening, and it's nice and full. Now do we have any other extra concrete bars? We do not. We have to craft some. Well, we'll set some to craft right now. 600, we're gonna need more than that. Wait, hold on. I do have more. I was wrong. I just didn't see them in bar form. Suppose since we're here, we'll go ahead and get the goodies. Oh, I don't have any dukes. Excuse me. Oh, maybe I'll have to stop spending them. I forgot that I spent most of my dukes while I was out doing the trader run. But we have a handful of things to manage here at the base. Let's start with the cement. Actually, hold on. I need to grab stones, which I should have some, I assume. Here we have some stone. We might actually need more. We'll see. Grab this. Grab the sand. Now let's check these out. These? Yes, they have cement. Oh, wow. Okay, 30,000 is the cap for how much of a single resource your furnace can hold at once. For some reason, I thought it would be 50,000 or 100,000, but that's fine. Go ahead and set these to make more cement and grab out what they already have. Oh, they're all full. I guess I've been ignoring them a little negligent. Sometimes I forget to feed my forges. I'm a bad owner. What about down here? There should be a bunch of cement, right? Oh no, just stone, capped out. Ah, more steel. Let's grab it. Why not? Continue the process. I hate the fact that the damn screamers seem to prioritize attacking my forges. It's not that expensive to craft a forge. That is not the issue. The issue is that it takes so much time for the things inside of it to be cooked and smelted down. So when they break one, I'm technically losing the equivalent of, like, 12 hours? Assuming I left something overnight. Oh, this one wasn't even on. Oh, man. I bet the screamer turned it off. Damn screamers. Let's see. Any more stone? Yes, we do have more. Screw it. Let's take all of it out. Start. Whoop, that's not the place. We're going up around here. We're going to craft more concrete. We can do 6,000 or so, 2,000 a piece, roughly, and take out all of the concrete that we have here. No, that's 200. Whoops. There we go. Bah. These ones have a lot more concrete in them. I'm running out of inventory space. What do I do? Screw it. Just craft all of them, and then take what I can. I have a little bit left over down here. I'll take all of this and start turning it into blocks. Because in this chest, we have... How much? We'll set up a line here. One, let's try to keep at least three stacks of concrete in here for repairing purposes, and then the rest can be made into blocks. More blocks. Another 800 on the way. Wonderful. I also have more stone left over than I expected. Let's go ahead and put all of that away. Put some of the steel away for sure. Getting another nice mass, but we're going to need even more. Eventually here. Eventually. Well, I put Shirley down. Or picked her up, I mean. That's unusual. I don't do that often. Very weird. So I think I need to eat food. Good thing I have the food that was on Shirley. Let's go ahead and put more steel in here. Having inventory issues. Also, I think I have... More gunpowder to manage. Well, Reddit, I guess we'll collect from the do collectors again. Might be a good idea to start the process for turning all of this into duct tape. If I even have enough bones, I've been mass collecting this stuff. I might actually have a shortage on it. But that's what the super corn is good for, since we're not planning on selling it anymore. It doesn't really serve that purpose. Here's all the water, and there's the bones. You know, let, Yeah, let's grab all of our bones. It serves no other purpose. Bones, and I think we might need super corn. We'll drag all of this to that chest upstairs, or at least most of it. I could put that final point into living off the land and continue to collect those. It's the best way to automate this process, really. Damn, that's a lot of gunpowder. Let's go ahead and grab out as much water and bones as we can. And hmm, how long is this glue going to take? Takes two super corn or four bones. Obviously the bones first. We do 120, it only takes 16 minutes. Really? What about here? Also 120. Limited by the water. Hey, no soliciting. Trespassers will be converted into Swiss cheese. Let's go ahead and just craft what we can here. What was that? I heard a s spider? Is that what that was? Sounded like some wannabe predator noises. <laughs> well, I don't see anything. So, whatever. And over here, let's go ahead and grab the rest of this water out. Where's the take all button? There we go. Another 130. Take all again, and then over here. Oh, there's another one. Where? Where is she? What are you attacking? Oh. Ah, oh, that was a real scream. Please, I'm assuming. Hey, I shot you. Stay dead. Oh, who's that? I don't want whatever you're selling. I'll pass. I said I'll pass. Get away. No, I've never heard of this Jesus Christ guy. I don't care if he saved you. Leave me alone. Yeah, eh, people are just so nosy. Get out of my business. What the? Hey, you're gonna need a warrant. You can't just walk in there. Man, what are they teaching you at the academy nowadays? Oh, free steel. Um, I, I just scrapped it on accident. Whoopsie. I don't care about the steroids. Get out of here. I don't think I want them coming in here. Or, wait. <laughs> 
They punched a hole through this entire thing. Interesting. And they see this as a weak point because of the lack of windows. Very interesting. Well, let's go ahead and fix that. Easy solution is to simply break the windows and replace them with concrete. Boom. Situation resolved. Is that another screamer? No? Okay. It's Bertha. Well, you're gonna get ogged. Can, can you just... Thanks. I appreciate you dying. Very kind of you. Go ahead and just fill in this. Get the one on the other side, too. Oh god, there's another one. Where? Right there. You have to kill them before they can see you. Ooh, what? There's even more. Hey, your partner is just here, inside my house without a warrant. You better call your sergeant. I'm gonna need a supervisor. Ouch. Bro. I am busy. Did you guys not right now? Well, I guess my power's out, since the turret isn't going. Didn't I just kill you? Yeah, my power must be out. See if we have any extra car batteries. Jimmy, what did I say about throwing ragers? No parties in the household. You take that somewhere else. We literally live across a strip club. Oh, I hear more of them. Listen here, fat man. It's personal now. God, I do not do damage with these fists. I cannot throw hands. I can, however, throw bullets until people disappear from existence. Now, if I could just stop getting distracted. There we go. But close everything up. Let's see. Can I put another battery in there? Do I have any more? Oh, I have plenty. We'll just keep filling it with low tier batteries. I should probably Google how to recharge these things. You know what? I'll do that right now. I will be back after this short googling. Very interesting. So according to ye old internet, if I make a different generator, do I have any... Oh, oh god damn. More of them. Where are you? Damn, quick on the trigger. I pulled the trigger long before I even recognized that there was a screamer. Apparently I'm itching for a bit of a fight, but hold on. What was I looking for? Right, generator. Do I have a normal generator? No. We have a solar bank with no cells. Three solar banks. No cells. Not cool. Well, I'm gonna make a generator. I can apparently charge this with a normal generator. Oh man, these are very busy. Wait, nope, not these ones. Generator. Forged iron, mechanical parts, electrical parts. Easy. You know, that's a very convenient trick where if I, okay, let's go ahead and put these away real quick. If I, for instance, want to pick up just half a stack of this iron, but I don't want to go through all the effort of dragging it from the left side of the screen all the way to the right side. Oh, can you see all that time that was taken up doing this? Um, Ooh, God, I can't stand it. If I want to, I can right click and drag a little bit to separate the stack. And then if I just close my inventory while I'm holding this, this here, this forged iron, in the lower right, you can see it immediately added it to my inventory. I only found out about this recently. It is confusing, but also awesome. Gotta remember what I was doing. I believe it's in the process of making more glue. Yeah, I was. Glue. Like this. And that should be all of the water and the bones. And we have plenty of super corn left. We have enough for hundreds. We now know that it's two super corn per duct tape. Or glue, sorry. Still need all the, still need all the cloth for the duct tape. But that means that two stacks equates to 125 duct tape. Pretty good. Let's get those oh shits drops back on my hot bar. Actually, let's collect the gunpowder and start making more pipe bombs. Can't go wrong with that. Really can't. Suppose we could convert this glue as well. Where is it? Right here. Recipes. Duct tape? I don't have enough cloth. I don't have any in my inventory. Because I sorted it. Let's start with the pisk chest. I'll have to remember that I have gasoline in here. Very easy to forget. Duct tape, duct. Only makes 60. I guess we'll be putting this cloth right back in here. Now, crack open all of this gunpowder. Or most of it, at least. Grab some pipes out. And plant fibers, and that should be it. I don't believe. Well, the generator's done already. Nice. Pipe bombs. How many can we make right now? Oh, only 600 because I'm running out of pipes. How did I put those in any other chest? Doesn't seem like it. Hmm. What do we do? I guess we'll have to craft some. We'll use the chests up here since it's a unusual item. Sorry, not chests. Forges. Uh, we don't need those cooking anymore, so we'll remove the stone, at least temporarily, and we'll go ahead and put the iron in here and do the same thing with these. Let's just keep the stone in the output in case I decide to put it in there later. And iron time. Then the other one right up here. And we're keeping the one in the upper left as the brass and lead and whatever else. That's just the specialty forge. But for the time being, I don't think we need these pipe bombs right off. However, hold on. Explode. You know, I am curious. Exploding arrows. We should have some in here, right? Exploding arrows. 
right here. Explosion damage 180, and oh, the crossbow does more. Almost twice as much. Well, not really twice, but more. So, we'll be sticking with crossbow. Steel arrowheads, scrap polymers. I have plenty of gunpowder. It's the duct tape that's an issue. Is it? I think we have a lot. What else are we going to use it for? Let's check how much it takes for a rocket frag. Oh, the buckshot. That's the weird part. That's right, it takes an insane amount of lead. So, crossbow bolts it is. Just got to check that recipe again, because I have short-term memory. Steel arrowheads. Um, is that in the weapons chest, or what? Down here? Oh, there we go. Steel arrowheads. Then it was scrap polymers. We'll take a thousand. And... Duct tape, was that it? And gunpowder, of course. Seven batches of 75. Pretty good. Let's get it going. More than enough gunpowder. It really is just duct tape. That's the limiting factor. You know what? For now, we'll put the gunpowder in the splodening chest, uh, along with the pipes and the plant fibers. Screw it. The arrowheads, some of this. Anything that has to do with blowing up, I guess. While we're here, before we forget, we're going to put a generator right up here and okay i think i started to talk about this but i got distracted so i should be able to connect this generator the electric one or gas based one to this battery bank yes see there's an arrow there linking them now if i fill this with an engine hold up engine right i have an entire chest for those let's grab about six of them there's that oh gasoline fill this thing up turn it on then we have this on so what the internet told me more or less was that if i have this on this gas based generator and it's linked to the battery bank it should slowly charge these i think if not then i guess this just acts as a relay i guess if we take this out you know what, we'll just leave it like this for a while and we'll see how it goes. Probably takes time, like most things. Now then, let's finish up that ladder. I think that's the only thing we have left to do. So off we go. Finish up the ladder, start transporting some of the pipe bombs into her royal girthiness. And then, I guess collect a bit of ammo. Specifically for the magnum, so that while we're being pushed up there... Damn, that's really high up. While we're being pushed up there, we'll have piercing bullets. We'll have to see how it goes. I did make the bottom of this steel, so that if I shoot a demolisher and he falls down with his button active, he should just hit steel. But if he gets stuck inside the ladders, well, we're doomed. Nothing we can do about that. And here we go again. Upsy daisy. Sky high. <laughs> I've never made a build quite this crazy before, but I kind of like it. It just seems like a fun concept. Not sure how I feel about imposing unnecessary risk on myself, but... Oh, what the? Misplaced that one. But, whoa, I almost just fell. <laughs> oh, 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 boy. Gotta be careful when doing these micro adjustments on the ladder. I forgot what I was saying. The fear of losing the ent entire series over accidentally hitting the wrong key on my keyboard. Kind of removed everything from my train of thought. For now, we'll just focus on continuing upward. Oh, there we go. I think I found the right angle. Should be able to just hold back and right click now, and it'll just take care of the rest for me. It's not dangerous at all. I'm just hanging on the very edge of the ladder. One thing is for certain, we're going to have to keep those oh shits drops on the hotbar during the horde night, just in case. I don't know if the AI is active or not, if you get too far from them, but if a demolisher or cop just happened to decide that it's exploding time, all the way at the bottom of this while I'm being pushed up and I can't see them, then at some point the entire thing might just come tumbling down. And if that happens, well, we have to be very quick about consuming those oh shits drops. Otherwise, we're going to be paying a massive price. And that price, of course, being our life. Man, this is just... There's never not going to be a point where I'm surprised at how high up you can build in this. What were they expecting people to build? Well, I guess things like this. I want to talk. I think we're almost there. <laughs> I really do want to build a base that just... Whoa, okay. I do want to build a base that just goes up to the skybox at some point. You know, we could do a challenge run where, essentially, we would place down... By the way, this is entirely done. This is it. It's the whole thing. Literally just spend the horde night being pushed up while shooting right there. Should I upgrade this? <laughs> Probably. Well, I'll do that during the horde night or something. Just bring a steel one with me and upgrade it. Oh boy. Down we go. Yet another fall to our definitely not demise, right? Does that look a little off to you? Oh boy. That is the last thing I expected from my death. What's interesting is that I'm going to have to look at it through the edit. I'll probably try to put it on the screen now, but I don't know why that killed me. That was a little off to you. 
It's the same thing I did every other time that I drop. Huh, I think I know where I am. Um, I do. If I scroll out, can't see anything. You know, I am curious. We'll have to check. But I think my things that I built might still be here. I guess I'll follow a road and find out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There are many ways I expected this series to end. That was not one of them. Oh dear. Well, there's a horde night coming. <laughs> Whatever that's worth. Oh man. I, mean, yeah. oh. I get the feeling that was a bug. Because I was in the middle of the, the base. The thing. Well, I don't think I want to wait this out. Is there a... Hold on. How do you DM? Is that right? Debug mode? Right? So now if I hit escape. Teleport. Whoa. What the hell? I just hit teleport and it randomly put me somewhere. Whoa, I've never seen this before. I don't usually use these functions. Um, <laughs> what the hell? Open POI teleporter. I guess if we teleport to the different gens on the map. Whoa, very interesting. Is this our gen? It, <laughs> oh, it's all still here. Oh no, rest in spaghetti. But we had a good run of it. I guess we can just take a peek at it. You know what? I'm going to skip it to nighttime and we'll see how this would have turned out. Just all of this up here. All that preparation. It was like three weeks of preparation. I wonder if my body is still here. <laughs> Can I loot myself? Oh, can't jump up there. Guess we're gonna have to climb up. Really though, why did that happen? Was I falling so fast that the water hadn't rendered in or something? Uh, we're about to find out. It really is too bad, but it is what it is. Said it was a hardcore world, so we're done here. We're gonna have to shelf this, or I guess not shelf it, bury it, until we're ready for the next seven days series, which will probably be Darkness Falls. I'm thinking either A, Darkness Falls, B, the Sorcery Mod, or C, Darkness Falls and Sorcery Mod combined, which is the most chaotic of all the choices. Terribly imbalanced. I'm not sure if I would want to do either of those mods in hardcore. They both have a knack for one-shotting you already. And I guess as we've seen, my lack of caution doesn't go well with that. Oh man, I really should have listened to myself when I put these exclamations here as a warning. So this is what I did. I went to the end here and I hit jump. And all the way down, I said nothing and I touched nothing. There we go. The water isn't deep enough. That's what it is. The water is not deep enough. But it was sometimes, but not every time? I'm so confused. Now, if I am correct, I should count as an entirely different being. I don't think I can interact with any of my boxes. Oh, no, I can. I can interact with everything, actually. Weird. Whatever, I already made it far further than I expected. Well, there goes the lightning. So now we know if we ever do this again, probably make the water way, way deeper. See if we can't jump across this. Yes, we can. So, it's two bags here. Huh, that means the old bag is also here. That's all the good stuff. Oh no, everything that was seemingly equipped to my character, and not just in my inventory or on the hotbar, was destroyed. So, from now on, if we do this again, we will make sure to go not for one, two, three, four, five blocks. We will go for ten, and science it from there on out. That really is interesting, because we survived this fall repeatedly without oh shits drops. Hmm, very interesting. Where's the magnum? Let's go ahead and just grab a bunch of bullets, I guess. And then we'll set the time up to 2200 and see what happens when they push us up. Because that base is still a good idea. I might use it for- wait, 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 hold on, hold on. I have my armor. Wait, <laughs> am I- I'm level one. Oh no. Also, please tell me that scream didn't count. Ooh, turret power. Yeah, it counted. It's not what I'm here for, though. Just grabbing some random ammo. I could just spawn it in, but man, this base was awesome. Just a bunch of magnum ammo. Actually, you know what? Shotgun might do well, too. The horde base of this particular design. It seems- wait, wait, for a moment I was stuck on that block. It seems like a shotgun might work properly, but then again, if you shoot with a wide enough spread, you might have your shells start damaging the blocks beneath you. That would make the entire thing tumble down. I know, the series is over, it is hardcore, but I still want to test this, since it's already built, and just see how it goes. This is the final episode. Now if I remember correctly, the command is set time 2200? No, wait. Set time, uh, we're on... Day 105, 22nd hour, zero minutes, right? There we go. Let's give it a shot. Looking around, where are the zombies? Maybe it's because I set the time ahead. They're getting confused and not spawning in. Here, zombie, zombie, zombies. Hello? Um, I didn't turn them off. Just bugs galore, hmm? I guess we'll go down the ladder. <laughs>
What in the world is happening? Try this again. 2159. There we go. That's the nighttime ring a ding. Now we should start getting a horde, right? What is happening? Hmm. Really is just bugs galore. Guess we'll run around for a little bit. See if we can't get them conjured up. If I hop on the bike, will I get attacked by the horde of birds? No? No birds? What the? Let's drive out of this chunk and then turn around and come back. Now I've messed with the set time settings before and immediately turned to horde knights. I've never seen it do this before though. This is very interesting. Oh, that's a railing. So I see a deer, or I've seen a deer, but no zombies. Why no zombies? Why am I not getting attacked by birds? It's the blood moon. How about this? We'll move it forward a day. Day 106 at 2155. See if we can't get it started this way. There's the Horde Knight sound, which means we should start getting attacked now. I'm so confused. Well, this world is officially busted. I will try to close it down and reopen it, and if that doesn't work, well... I guess we'll just say series over, then right back in. Alright, we've loaded back into the world. Still seeing no zombies. Make some noise. Maybe we'll just piss off some zombies in a POI, or at least see if they're here. Zombies. Alright, I guess we'll just drag them to the ladder and science it out. I don't know why the Horde Knight isn't starting. Are you guys confused? Come on. I'm shooting this thing. Follow me. Well, this isn't the proper science. I need cops and demolishers to know if this works. Yeah, we know that this part works, but really, why isn't the Horde Knight starting? <laughs> Just jostling me around. Well, it is what it is. We'll science this out in another series. Because clearly this isn't working. Riddle me this. Am I going up or down? <laughs> you really can't tell. Suppose that's enough messing around. This is the part where we accept the fact that we did in fact die. Granted, the series ended because either A my lack of preparation, or B, the fun pimp's inconsistent water mechanics, because we survived that multiple times in previous episodes. The previous episode. But this has been episode 105 of the Hardcore Vanilla series, and its bitter end. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next series. But for now, goodbye.